Hey Bagses! So this is very exciting because I work, well I do promotions, but I work in Selfridges and they have a worldwide exclusive for the new Shoe Amara palette. So I don't know if any of you have heard of Murakami, but basically he's a contemporary Japanese artist and he did like, you know the Louis Vuitton white bags that were multicolored? Insert picture here. If I can. Um, yeah, so yeah, those ones. Um, he collaborated with that, and every year Shu and Mira do uh, collaborations. So last year they did Carl Lagerfeld, he's Chanel. Um, so yeah, this year, and the thing that's just really good about this is Shu and Mira has amazing products like their color range, their cleansing oil, their base, eyelash colors. Literally, it's really good quality, amazing makeup that'll last you forever. But like, just look how cute it is. It's got like little hearts. It's all about the six heart princess. So yeah, lots of hearts. Um, and basically that's all about, there's a princess and she's got like six alter egos. Three good, three bad. So like three are like cute, innocent, like, oh, pretty pink. And then the other three are kind of a bit more sassy, a bit more naughty. I uh, like the kind of black style. So yeah, you've got pink and black. There is, ooh, seven, seven or eleven? Eleven products in the range. And the main focus really is on the palette. So yeah, this is the actual palette. And this is the one of the Black Princess. And you can see the Black Princess. And anyone who knows anything about Murakami, just here, oh, there's like the little uh, smiley flower, which is the trademark of all Murakami. Oh yeah, if I get it closer, you can properly see the princess. And yeah, Shuamira. Oh, Shuamira. Um, so yeah, what's really good about these is you get eight colours. You get seven colours and a blush. You also get two little applicator things, but I I really don't like them, so I've taken mine out already. But if I talk you through the colours, you have four um, pressed powders. So in this one, you've got gold, silver, kind of lilac-y, and then dark purple. And then you've got three, like, silk kind of texture ones. So you've got oh, black, purple, and then green in the bottom. And what's great, I think, about this palette, it's very versatile. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of the black, the kind of smokier. But you can create kind of a lot of evening looks, because I kind of think, if you use the neutrals, but then you can have purple, gold, green, black, add some silver, literally like mix it up a lot. So there's this palette. Oh yeah, and then you get the blusher. And that's kind of quite a nice, really nice blusher. Um, and I really like the Shimmer brushes, blushes. And so they're really good. And yeah, I'll see. So yeah, this is the dark palette. See if I can get you a picture of the light palette. Bada boom! Um, so yeah, you can see this one is just a way more like light pink. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Worldwide exclusive, and it's just really good because it's just got the pretty artwork. And what I love as well about this collection, because it's so pretty, and they're doing like travel brush sets, they're doing cleansing oil base, got like lip, lip and cheek tints. It's literally absolutely amazing. So they've got worldwide exclusive in Selfridges at the moment, or Thursday to Saturday worldwide. Little promo site, complimentary eye makeups. So you can go and just get your makeup done, come over on Saturday, just get like your eye makeup done. You don't even have to buy anything. Obviously, once you try this Stuff, you're going to be convinced and want it but um it's just the new limited edition christmas range it's amazing so i'm going to show you a look and using this um my look is going to focus it's going to be like well basically it's like i've got now the kind of lighting's gone a bit bad but can you see it's kind of like a smoky evening look and i've used five of the colors so basically i have not used the gold and the green i'll talk you through it as i do it but yeah focusing kind of purple with a bit of black like just kind of smoky good evening i'm kind of converting into my dark princess side yeah basically i'm kind of want to just i just want to be her surrounded by hearts and multicolored stuff um so yeah anyway that is the story of Murakami Six Heart Princess collection. I'm just showing you this thing, and now I'm. And yeah, Shuma is amazing. It's just really amazing, good quality. Just oh, I could, I could just work Shuma. I love it that much. Like oh, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna show you a look now. I'm going to pin my hair back and take off all my fake. Oh shit, my fake. Oh, did I just poke my. Eye? I totally just poked my eye out. Um, without poking my eye out. I'm going to take off all the eye makeup, keep my face on, but I'm not wearing anything on my lip at the moment. But yeah, and then, and then start this look on how to do it, and on the Six Heart Princess Collection Edition. So anyway, just give me a second while I... Da -da 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 -da. Also, I started filming this earlier, um, and now it's darker because it's winter now, and I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, it's all of a sudden it's going to be like daylight again. So yeah, just one... 
Ta-da! Okay, so now I have, well, I say no makeup. I've done my face, um, so I've done the foundation and the bronzer. I've left the blusher because obviously I'm not to have it. Um, I've also done my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's basically just face. I haven't done anything on my eyes, anything on my lips either. I could have, but anyway. Um, so what I was thinking of doing was kind of like a purpley, smoky, kind of maybe add a bit of a silver, I don't know. Because I wanted to use all of them. I tried that, um, but it meant not work for everyone and like quite hard. So I'm going to try and use like five of the colours. Five of the seven, I think that's quite good. And then the brush. Okay, so there is my palette. And you can kind of see, so I'm going to use that one all over and then gradually add that, add a bit more of that, and then the black, like kind of, yeah, those five, and then the blusher. So ignoring the green and the gold for now. But what I do with the purple and the black, I could do with the green and the gold like another time. So, the thing I love about Shira Mirror is they're really highly pigmented. So I'm getting my brush, and I'm putting it there. The other good thing is, Shira Mirror has amazing brushes. I don't own it yet, but it's the number 12 brush, and where well, normally I use one eye brush for this, one for that, all this other stuff, Shira Mirror has one brush, it's like, ooh, it's like the most amazing brush in the world, it does everything, it will last you 30 years. It's 53 pounds, but it is worth it, like, I'm, I'm going to get it, so... I'm really excited. Anyway, so yeah, I've gotten, I put a lot of that colour on my brush. What I'm going to do, my mirror is just there, so I'm going to go in close so I can show you. And I'm just going to use it as a base. It's kind of like a kind of slightly light lilac y colour, but it's very, very high pigment base. I just kind of like it because it's just a good light colour. Because whenever you're doing looks, you're going to want to start with a lighter colour. So yeah, I don't know if you can see it there, like compared with the other one. So it's just quite natural, but also very, very, very iridescent. So you can kind of, yeah, see it there. Um, yeah, just putting it on the other eye. So the way I tend to do it is I kind of like get quite a lot of product on my brush, like that little motion, and then just kind of rub it in, like, because I hate, I hate it when you're putting on eyeshadow and it all falls all over your face, especially I always do my face first, then eyes, and then sometimes I have to redo my face, it's really nice, but shoe is really good, because, um, you don't really have that problem, as long as you apply it correctly, because it's made such amazing, high quality ingredients, so, now, I've just kind of got, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's just kind of like a light pearly pink, yeah, it's that colour there, so, I'm going to start to add a bit of this, this is kind of the middle purple, and I'm just going to use, I'm going to use a different brush, but uh, with the amazing shoe brush you can use the exact same one, which is great. So, I'm going to, with this brush, which is kind of dome shape, this is like a good blendy brush, I'm going to put that, and I'm going to kind of apply it all over, but starting in the outer crease, to work my way in, but kind of all over, if that makes sense, kind of just make the colour. So, I don't know, can you can just see I've added it there. Um, and then, do the same on the other eye. So I'm kind of working from the outer corner to the inner two thirds, like just with this colour. And yeah, it's just kind of giving me like a more pinky, purpley look. Okay, so that's that. The thing about these eyeshadows, um, yeah, so I said before, is you've got your four pressed colours, and you've got your three silky textures, so that's the dot, the plaque, Dark purple and green. So so far I've just been using pressed powder, but then I'm gonna add a bit of this silky purple. And I'm literally just focusing it just there in the crease, right up there, because I just want to like doing quite a smoky look, really. Because this, yeah, the story of the princess is it's kind of your evil side, a bit sassy, a bit like out there, naughty, like as opposed to cute, innocent, like. It's a bit more fun and variety. So that's why this is a bit more of an evening look. That's why I really like this palette as well, because it's got quite a variety of colours. You can do a kind of evening look for all of them, or you could use the lighter colours for day. Basically, it's got everything. So, yeah, so far, I've got three colours. I've got the lightest colour all over, and the middle one kind of two-thirds over, and that literally just in the crease. So then what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to use the darkest colour as well, so using this brush again, but if you have the uh, the 12 brush, um, you just kind of use that bit, so you kind of jab into it, so like a bit like a liner, and I'm just doing that, and I'm just kind of like, start, yeah you can see that, start there, and like line outwards, so just like elongate, like, 
yeah, that's a really good area to focus on, kind of like, from where, if you look at your pupil and that outer corner there, a lot of the time with a lot of girls, if you fill in that with a dark eyeshadow, it absolutely looks amazing. Or you could use eyeliner, but eyeshadow, I find you can be a lot gentler. Eyeliner, if you make a mistake, it's a lot more unforgiving and it can be really harsh. What's this? Um, so yeah, if you see, you can see it's kind of starting to give me like way more depth. I haven't even added eyeliner yet, but I'm already starting to get the kind of like smoky, purpley. So yeah, that's with the purple. Now, because I've been adding, I've been slowly getting darker, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some highlights. So with these colours, I quite like the silver, like it's quite out there and pressed. So I'm going to do that highlight under my brow and then a bit in my inner lash line. And like I said, with this amazing brush, I don't have, but I'm going to get, and I will talk about later when I get it. And anyway, with it, you can just use this one brush for everything, so it's perfect with the palette. But, um, at the moment I'm using two, but oh well. But anyway, so I've, oh yes, so sorry, I've put on this silver colour here, and I'm just lightly doing it. So this way you kind of do the highlight area, but I thought, because you know I'm doing a bit different, try with a kind of silver highlight. Also, because it's quite a dark look, so the silver, even though if you look at it, it's quite a like, whoa, silver. Um, and it goes there, it actually looks okay. And it's good contrast. So yeah, I've done that now. And then I am going to use kind of the other end of the silver. And basically, actually, I'm going to mix a bit of the silver and a bit of the lighter colour, like them two together, to just, just my inner bit illuminate there. Because it's got the light pink at the moment, but I think I want to add a bit more with the silver. It's kind of going all out. So yeah, you can kind of see it's starting to get like, a bit more, yeah, nighttime look. Um, so finally, what you want to do, and you want to be gentle with this. Always do your darkest colour last. That's general because also if you decide you want to do lighter, once your brush is dark, very difficult unless you wash it to in a short amount of time. It's very difficult to fix. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darkest, which is this black here, this kind of silky texture one. Just cover my brush quite lightly in it. And I find as well when you use dark colours, it's a good idea. Oh yeah, get the back of your hand. Here, I'm just like patting it so it takes off excess product. And I'm literally, can you see that I'm just putting it down the crease? And like, yeah, circular motions. And the same with the other side. Because obviously you've got to be even. But yeah, this is just adds a bit of, a bit more of a crease in my socket line. And yeah, I've kind of got all the blend. So you can kind of see. So yeah, this is just eyeshadow. I haven't used any eyeliner, any mascara, anything. And close my eyes. Can you see there's quite a lot of colour going on? And that's just with this palette. And what's magical about this palette is so I've used purples and the black. But say instead I went for kind of the, well, the neutral colour, silver, gold and black. Or I added the green and maybe the purple. That's another, or the green, maybe the purple. That's the look I tried before. So... Um, that's the eyes for now. I'm going to now use the blush, so that's the bottom one at the bottom, and you can kind of tell because, yeah, obviously it's a bigger section, and it's pink, but also I could have used it as an eyeshadow because it is still a powder, and it's good to be versatile. Think outside the box. Use a blusher on your eyes. Use eyeliner in it. Like okay, anyway, so I've got my blush brush, and I've kind of put it that shape so that, because I don't want to accidentally pick up, oh, I don't want to accidentally, like, pick up, like, purple and stuff. So, and, I'm just gonna add that there. Um, and the blush, yeah, has been hand picked to go with this look. So, I do actually feel like I'm turning into the Six Heart Princess. Like, a little bit, like, cause I told you the story before, and now I've got this whole look, like, it's my alter ego face. Um, it's absolutely great. So, yeah, you can see that, that was just created with the eyeshadows and the blush and like literally it's absolutely amazing so what i'm going to do now is put on lashes i'm going to be honest i'm not amazing at doing it so i don't want to have it on film and have a lash catastrophe and just cry so put them on i'm going to do a little bit of black pencil line liner there's also with the new show america collection so yeah this one yeah six heart princess there are two gel eyeliners i think it's the purpley one that goes really well with this collection so I'm gonna, yeah, put one, well, just gonna put a bit of regular black eyeliner on, and lashes, and I was back in one, two, three. Ta-da! And now I'm done. I've got my hair down.
I put my lashes on. Um, she will know her lashes. These are the, I think I'm chat. They are, yeah, the Luke's black ones. So yeah, they come in a nice Shaw mirror. Oh, it doesn't have a cover on. Whoops. Um, yeah, Shaw mirror lashes. And these are my favourite lashes in the whole world. I've tried MAC ones. No, okay. I love them. Yeah. But like, if you want amazing lashes that will literally last you like at least 10 applications, Shoot a mirror are best lashes ever. Um, and I love them. My favourite are actually Farfellini, but these are the ones I've got right now. And yeah, they're just quite good because they're black. Also, they're handmade, so they're just amazing. Um, and then, I, yeah, I've just left my lips bare because of the smoke. But it's got a little bit dark, so this artificial light. But if you see, I can just turn the light on. I'll be like my laptop light so I can be in light. It's like blue. And if I do this, obviously this is terrible lighting to see the makeup. But if you imagine you're on a night out, it's like it's got like the smokiness to it. To be honest, I can like this light. I've been just YouTube videos of this light now. But I do look a little bit retarded. Got my hair. Amazing. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, a limited edition, world exclusive, uh, shoe and mirror palette video. Oh, I might, I might turn the light, yeah, the light back on better. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this video about the amazing, um, Murakami eyeshadow palette. And their whole collection. They are exclusive in Selfridges for the next couple of days. And then they're going worldwide. But they're amazing. And I'll be at Selfridges if you want to come and say hi. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed it, then see you later. Bye!